Leroy's Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver Walkthrough, Part 26. Alright, now that we've gotten our first six gym badges, we can finally move on towards the town with the seventh gym badge. Now, you actually could have gone this way earlier in the game if you chose to take the eastern route first, but um, like most people, I decided to go west first. And that guy right there mentioned Mount Mortar, and that's actually a place we're going to be checking out in this video. Um, but we'll get to that later. Anyways, right here is TM65 Shadow Claw. And I'll actually go ahead and teach that to Heracross, because, um, I don't know, Heracross can learn it, so I might as well. Um, it's super effective against Psychic types, so Heracross could use that, since he's actually weak to Psychic. Um, so I think I'll just get rid of Leer, because I don't really need Leer. Um, so yeah, Shadow Claw's a pretty good move. It's a Ghost type, 70 base power, um, high chance of a critical hit, so not a bad move at all. Um, I actually would have been very smart of me to go over here before the gym battle against, uh, or against the fourth gym leader, which was a ghost type, but whatever, I wasn't smart enough to do that, so whatever. Um, anyways, right when you walk over here, this hiker's just gonna run out of this cave and bump into you, and he's like, oh, I'm so sorry, here, I'll, t I'll give you this HM, this super rare HM04, the hidden machine, because, you know, I don't want you to feel bad for me running into you. So yeah, that's how you get the HM04, which is kind of stupid, but whatever, we'll take it. Because it's strength, and you need that to beat the game, so... Um, eventually I might teach this to one of my regular Pokémon, but I don't really want to right now, so I'll just give it to Krabby, who's kind of my HM slave. It knows Cut, Surf, Strength, and a Rock Smash, so... Uh, yeah, there you go, you got four HMs on you now. Um, Strength is a decent normal-type move. Um, you know, it's not the end of the world if you have to teach that to one of your normal Pokémon. Like, it's better than Cut, but, you know, I'd prefer not to. Anyways, you don't need to go into Mount Mortar, which is the place I just went into, but it's a nice place to stop by and grab some items um, before you move on to Mahogany Town. Now, make sure you bring a lot of Super Repels and stuff, because obviously you got a lot of walking to do in here, and there's wild Pokemon everywhere. Um, so yeah, anyways, there's just a lot of items to grab in here. Later on, when you have the HM for Waterfall, after getting the 8th Gym Badge, you'll be able to come here and take on the Karate Master and get a Tyrogue, but obviously we can't do that right now. And I just went back down the same ladder. That was dumb. Um, anyways, yeah, there's just a bunch of items in here. A lot of them are pretty good. But like I said, nothing required to beat the game in here. Just if you want some extra cool stuff. And there's actually a couple trainers you can fight, so, yeah. And by the way, I have my Golbat up front. Now, actually, what I did is, um, off-screen, I went back to Goldenrod City and I got a haircut. And, um... You can give your Pokemon haircuts and their happiness will get boosted up, and Golbat evolves through happiness, so I'm hoping now that I did that, he'll evolve at the next level. So we'll find out, because he's actually almost up a level, so... That's why I have Batman up front to take on this Nido King, Or Nido King, as most people call it. Um, anyways, yeah, I'm gonna use Fly, my new move I got after beating Chuck. And yeah, this guy actually has, a uh, um... The King and the Queen of Nidos, <laughs> whatever you want to say. Um, he has them both at level 17, which is kind of weird seeing a Pokemon fully evolved at level 17, but um, it's because they evolved through Moonstone, so you can actually do that. Anyways, that's going to finish it off. I'm actually surprised the fly didn't kill it on its own, but I guess it does have pretty good defenses and stuff. So there we go, level 27. And we're going to learn Air Cutter. Now, um, I would not teach Air Cutter to Golbat because Wing Attack is better and so is Fly, so you don't really need it. Um, Air Cutter is a special attacking move, and you definitely want to go with physical attacks, um, at least for flying types on Golbat. Anyways, now that I got him up a level, I'm going to switch over to Chin Chow to take on the Nido Queen, or Nido Queen, since apparently I say it wrong. But whatever, we're going to give it a surf and knock it out. And actually, um, Chin Chow is going to evolve into Lantern at level 27, so yeah, Aqua Volt's also pretty close to um, moving on to the second stage. So that's pretty nice. And I just realized I didn't even heal after the last gym battle. <laughs> I didn't even stop at the Pokemon Center before I fought Jasmine. Oh, and there we go! Batman is evolving. Nice! So I guess those haircuts paid off. Don't ask me how you give a Golbat a haircut. It's not like it has any hair, but whatever. Um, so now it's going to evolve into a Crobat. And now it has four wings, and it's awesome. Crobat's one of the fastest Pokemon in... Um, in the entire game. Plus it has really good overall stats, pretty balanced overall, which is why I like it. And it's learning Air Cutter again, but no, I do not want it. 
Um, the nice thing about Crobat, it learns all the same moves as Golbat, so you don't need to worry about getting him evolved before a certain level, because in the end it's all going to be the same. Anyways, let's get some more items, and I'm really glad I got that Crobat, because I've been waiting for that for a while. Um, so that's nice to get out of the way, and there's a revive. Um, yeah, just a lot of nice items. A lot of these items will come in handy um, during the Elite Four, because you can get stuff like Ethers and maybe some Elixirs in here. Um, and there's one really nice item at the very end. Um, that's a PP up, which can boost up the power points for any of your moves. That's definitely useful in the Elite Four. Um, anyways, if you have Strength, which obviously you do if you're over here, you can use that. And as long as you've beaten the Gym Leader Whitney, you can use Strength outside of battle, and I'm sure all of you have done that. Um, if you're at this point in the game, so you can come on back and get some more items, and there's one more trainer back here. There's an Ultra Ball, so you'll probably want that when you're trying to catch all those legendaries, since there's so many of them in this game. Um, and moving on here, there's the trainer, and get some more items. There's a Max Potion. I never really use Max Potions, just be- well, I use them if I have them, but I mean... They're, like, way more expensive than Hyper Potions, and normally you don't even need anything more than a Hyper Potion. Um, anyways, I'm gonna switch out here because I want to get Herbie some experience. Now that I got a Crobat, I don't really need to use it because my other Pokemon need to get up levels. And, ah, oh, Wild Battle. I always like seeing if I can make it without repels. Anyways, here's a random, what is this, one of those Super Pokey Nerd guys or whatever. Or just super nerd Marcus, and he's got a slow poke, so... Uh, yeah, and it's only level 19. Now, you might be wondering, like, why are all these Pokemon at such a low level? Like, why am I facing, like, 17s and 19s over here? I mean, for Pete's sake, I'm going towards the 7th gym badge. You don't even have Pokemon over level 20. Well, the reason for that is, kind of like what I mentioned earlier, after you get your 4th gym badge, you can either go east or west. So it's actually possible that you could have been here before even the... Um, fifth and sixth gyms, and that's why the levels are lower, just because if you had taken this route earlier in the game, they keep the levels lower so it's balanced out on both sides. It's kind of annoying because once you go to the opposite route afterwards, those Pokemon are going to be really weak, but at least you get a nice break and get some easy experience. Anyways, we have a few more items. Um, there's this one right here, which is an escape rope, and I'll probably just use that at the end to get out of this place. Um, and I'm going to hop on my bike just because I want to go faster. Anyways, you need Rock Climb to go down there, which isn't something you can do right now. Um, another item. And it's a Nugget, which you can sell for a bunch of money. Um, yeah, unless you have Waterfall and a Rock Climb, you can't explore this place completely. But as long as you have, like, Surf and Strength, you can do some other stuff in here. Anyways, let's spray some more Repels, because I don't want to run into wild Pokemon. And there's actually nothing cool in this cave. Like, I was hoping they would put in some crazy new Pokemon, but it's just like Geodudes and Zubats again, so kind of worthless. And yeah, that's actually all the items in there. Um, so you can come down here and out the door. And this kind of skips over some other areas in Route 42, but you can just go back and take on all the same trainers. So you really don't miss anything. Um, yeah, this is a fisherman right here, so... Fisherman Tully, and he's got a quillfish. Of course, a quillfish. Um, let's go ahead and use Razor Leaf. Um, yeah, I think uh, Herbie will be evolving. Well, I know it will evolve at level 32 into a Meganium. Um, but, yeah, my levels are going really slowly in this game, if you haven't noticed. Like, I'm only at level 25, and I'm going towards the 7th gym. Which is kind of sad, but I don't know. It makes me wonder if I'll even get Pokemon, like, up to level 40 before the Elite Four. Like, I just go in there with, like, level 35 Pokemon. I don't know, we'll see. Um, anyways, this guy's gonna ask for my phone number, but obviously I don't want to give it to you, because I don't want to be bugged every 10 seconds by random people! Um, so yeah, let's surf. I'm not gonna bother... Well, I don't even know if my repel is still up from last time or not, I forget. Anyways, um, you're gonna notice down there is a Suicune, and there's a Super Potion, but... Suicune! Like, it's a legendary Pokemon just standing down here! What's it doing? Well... Let's cut this tree down, um, and just like last time, actually, unfortunately, the Suicune's gonna run away. And this time it, like, tries to attack you, it, like, runs into you, like, no, don't eat me, Suicune! And then, of course, whenever there's a Suicune, there's a Usine. How brave it is, how refreshing it is, how beautiful it is, and how quickly it moves. This guy has, like, a Suicune fetish, I swear. Um, but he's always following Suicune around, it's like a coincidence, every time you find him, he shows up. 
Like, he's always one step behind me, and I'm not even trying to find him. He's, his whole life is devoted to, like, tracking down Suicune, and he just, like, sees me, like, with it all the time. Like, what the heck, dude? How do you keep finding it? Anyways, one last area here in Mount Mortar. You have to go through this cave in the middle. Um, and then you can go to this little mini island thingy. Head down the stairs, and really there's just a bunch of extra items down here. Um, you cannot go face the karate dude, like I said earlier, just yet, so you're just going to have to settle with these items. Um, but you might as well find them, if you have some repels with you. There's a full restore, so you can actually get some really good stuff down here. Just depends if you actually want to spend the time. I mean, a lot of people just want to get to Mahogany Town really quick, so they just go straight through Route 42. Which is fine, I mean, you don't need to come in here at all, but... I'm just doing it for the sake of covering everything in this game, or at least as much as I can. Um, it's, I, I mean, the good thing about Mount Mordor is that you don't need Flash. Like, at least I don't just make it completely dark. Like, Nintendo just decided not to be a jerk this time. Like, yeah, we'll let them see in this cave. Because all these other caves, like the Dark Cave, they just, like, make it pitch black and you can't see anything. Because no one likes teaching Flash to their Pokemon just to get through a stupid cave. I mean, it reminds me of the cave, um, way back in Red and Blue, like, the one that you go through after Lieutenant Surge. Like, it's just this... The most annoying cave ever, the entire thing is, like, pitch black. And I remember I didn't even know about Flash when I was a kid, so, like, that was terrible trying to get through there on my own. I rem I'll never forget that day when I finally made it out alive, like, ten hours later. Greatest day of my life. <laughs> Anyways, we got a wild battle. And that was kind of annoying because I have repels sprayed up. Um, but of course, repels don't always work unless, um, well, they don't work if the wild Pokemon are at an equal level or higher than you. Anyways, there's an item over here, and it is a Carbos, which is nice because you can either sell it for a lot of money or boost up your Pokemon stats with, you know, all that good stuff, proteins, irons, Carbos, calcium. Anyways, there's one more item. This is actually the PP up and another wild battle. Alright, scratch that out, um, and let's actually switch out Batman to the front just because I'm tired of running into these random Goldines. Um, but anyways, there's one more item, it's the PP up, which I was mentioning earlier, which is actually worth it coming down here just for that. Because by the end of the game you're gonna get really powerful moves with only like 5 or 10 power points, and then it's nice to get them a little boost before the Elite Four, just so you don't run out all the time. So yeah, there's that, and I guess we'll just use the escape rope to get out of here, because I don't really feel like tracking my steps all the way back, or retracing my steps all the way back. Um, so you spin around and spin around in circles, and you somehow get to the entrance. I'll never understand how the escape rope actually works. Like, you just have a random rope in the middle of a cave, and it somehow gets you to the beginning of the entrance, so who knows. Um, anyways, we're going to put Heracross up front, and, and there goes my repel, so hopefully I can make it across this little pond here. Or this little lake here, or whatever you want to call it. Hopefully I can get across here without any wild battles. Um, and then there's a couple more trainers we'll have to fight before getting to the new city. So yeah, we're almost there. Um, if you didn't want to go through the cave, you can pretty much go straight through here. Anyways, this grass down here, you can actually find Mankeys, which is a fighting type Pokemon. And that evolves into Primeape, which we saw when facing the Gym Leader Chuck, which is a pretty decent Pokemon. Has really good physical attack, but its defenses are kind of crap, so... Um, you know, some people like it, though, because it's really fast. I never mind using it. Anyways, this dude's got a Nidorina! Um, so at least you're only fighting the, you know, Nidorina, not the king and the queen. You're just fighting these little things, which aren't that hard. Um, anyways, yeah, I'm trying out my new move, Shadow Claw. Mainly because Brick Break's not very effective. Um, yeah, Poison types resist fighting for whatever reason. So we'll finish you with an Aerial Ace. And frickin' Poison Point poisons me. I wouldn't mind this if my Heracross had the Guts ability, but mine actually has Swarm, which is kind of worthless for me, because I don't even have any Bug-type moves. But yeah, Swarm will boost up your Bug-types once you're under one-third power, or one-third hit points. Anyways, um, I'm learning Counter right now. Counter's a really nice move. It always goes second, and if the opponent uses a physical attack, um, you will hit them back with double damage. So it's, an actually, it's actually a really nice move to have, especially later on in the game when you're fighting the Elite Four and stuff, so... I will give you counter, and I'll, I guess I'll get rid of horn attack, just because I don't really need horn attack. Um, I mean, normal type moves aren't super effective against anything, so I don't really need it for anything. Um, but yeah, anyways, this poison's going to be kind of annoying, because if I was smart, I would have gotten a Heracross with the Guts ability, and if I was smart, I would have gotten a Geodude with the Rockhead ability, but I wasn't even thinking about that when I caught these Pokemon, so... 
Whatever, I mean, Heracross doesn't even learn a bug type until, like, 53 or something. Unless you teach him, like, Fury Cutter, which is kind of stupid, but... Whatever, let's finish this thing off. I'm using Counter, by the way, just because I want to try it out. And yeah, you're going to use Peck, it's almost going to kill me. But yeah, Counter will hit that back with double damage, which is obviously going to knock it out. So there we go, that's Counter. Very nice in the Elite Four. If you send it in against, like, Lance's Dragonite and you use Counter, like, he hits you with a really powerful move, you hit him back double damage, you'll probably knock out his Dragonite. Anyways, now we got to heal up this Poison and use a Super Potion, because Heracross is almost dead. And I want to take on this last Hiker with him, so yeah. I guess I won't heal him up all the way, I'll just use this one Super Potion. And here's the Hiker! I guess you don't need to fight him, but I might as well. And he's talking about Mount Mortar, because of course hikers are obsessed with mountains. I don't know why he's not in there. I mean, he's a hiker, he might as well be in the cave. But he's got a Diglett on his team. Diglett's actually kind of similar to Mankey, which I was talking about earlier. Very fast, good physical attack, but its defenses are just crap. <laughs> so it goes down without a fight. Um, yeah, a lot of experience. Now, if you are struggling with um, the Gym Leader Jasmine, or even the Gym Leader Chuck, you might as well check out this other side, um, these routes over on the eastern side, because you can get this free experience over here from these trainers, and it might be um, just what you need to get up a few levels to take on you know, Chuck and Jasmine, so if you're struggling with those guys, head over here, get, the, get this experience, and head back, and see if you can beat the Gym Leaders. Anyways, we got a Doug Trio. I'm trying to use Counter again, but he's just growling at me. <laughs> just because I kind of like this move. Um, magnitude 5. Actually, that's not going to do, like, anything. Alright, so Counter, I mean, it's not that great if they only do, like, 3 hit points to you. Then you're only going to hit him back with 6, but... Whatever, let's stop dawdling around and kill you with a Brick Break. Just because even Doug Trio has really crappy defenses. I mean, a little bit better than Diglett, but... Still not enough to live a Brick Break. I always wondered why there's, like, not a second evolution in between Doug Drio, like a Doug Duo or something. Like, there's just one, then all of a sudden three just come out of nowhere. Uh, but anyways, that is it for Route 42, so we are here in Mahogany Town, and we'll check out everything in the next video, so stay tuned for that. I will see you guys all next time.